What's up guys? It's Missy. I'm back with another SimCity Build-A video and today I am going to ask you guys questions rather than you asking me questions. So first thing, while my city is lit up, I want to show you guys the changes that I made this weekend to my city. I'm trying to collect all these these seeds so you can better see it. I put trees in along the stores and the factories that used to just be a street. And for those of you who had never seen my city, I'll show you real quick. So I have a waterfall that dumps in to the river. I have a couple of lantern, floating lantern buildings, more than a couple, I bought like 10. I mean, I've had those there. Um, I have one empty space on my map that's driving me crazy. It's right, right next to my Maxis thing. I have recently added in, I did what I was going to, said I was going to do, and I added in the third river along the right side. I need seven more platinum keys to buy my, my third waterfall face. I have my second one there. And this is, well, this is one question I have for you guys. What do you guys think about this idea? So, as you can tell, I have my main waterfront here, all right? Now, the water kind of goes over to the right and then down below where the delta is. As you can see, I, I the water used to stop about right here. I had this one little strip of water right here, and I cut into it and I made it go all the way up to the very top. And then I didn't just stop there, right here where this casino is, is where I stopped for a day. Then I decided, okay, you know what? I wanna take my water, and of course it went nighttime, damn it. Anyways, I wanna take my water and I wanna veer it over to the left, which is exactly what I did. Now, by doing so, I cut out a lot of my coverage area for my homes, right? So, I mean, I could be putting houses here and I'm choosing to put water there. I don't really care too much on the pop in my city, aside from unlocking my last regional map. So I, I'm i going for looks here, I'm not worried about that. Now, I have all of these tall epic buildings in my city. Eventually, I'm going to end up tearing down a lot of these gold epics just because of the fact that I want to make my city look nice. Now, it's going to be hard to do that just because of how much time and energy I put into them, but ultimately, I want my city to look nice. So, my question is, and I want everybody's opinion on this, okay? I know I have a lot of water and a lot of trees, and it's going to take a lot of work to do this, but honest opinion. Should I extend the water... Okay, you see how it goes around this like L-shaped island here? It goes up and to the left. It stops. Now, I have this, this area here, this area, where there is no water going from here over to here, like straight across, right? So what I'm asking is, and I want your opinion, is should I extend the water right, probably through this area here, and do similar to what I did on this side over on this side. So I would have an island of homes, oh, an island of some, some homes here, just like over here. So basically I'm mirroring what's on that side over here. Now this is where it's gonna get a little tricky for me because one, I have all these tall buildings, but, but two, because of this castle here, and this display that I have here. I'll have to redo both of these sections here, but I do have coverage for homes in that section. So, should I add a river along here? And pro I'll probably have to cut in, ooh, probably cut in from here is my guess, and then go, go this way with it. Or should I cut sideways and go from from here all the way up to here. So a diagonal line. Now that one's going to be a lot trickier. Or do I just leave it? 
Now, honestly, I don't want, I want your opinion based off looks and only looks. I don't want the opinion like, oh yeah, that would look really cool, but you're going to miss all those epics. No, I'm going just for looks here. I'm, I'm fine with, with losing out on a lot of hard work as long as it looks better. So honest opinion, if you are good at envisioning things. Also, should I reconvert some of these tall buildings? When I tear down the tall buildings that are ugly, because let's face it, a lot of these landmark epics are pretty fucking ugly. And they block a lot of my mountain. Should I keep... I want to keep these two, for sure, because they just look nice. But should I keep my couple beach and colorful ones and put them, like, right, you know, one by one over here and then tear down the majority of tall buildings and do mountain epics? And just do all mountain e epics aside from maybe five tall buildings? Or should I make all tall buildings along the back of my city? And do just a different um, category and that way they're more colorful, right? So if you guys have some input on what you guys think I should do, please chime in. Also, one more question. I usually do displays, okay? So usually what I do is I pick a specific type of display. So for example, this is my Valentine's Day display here. Now the Maxis man that I have standing there, he doesn't really fit in to that display. I just thought he looked kind of cool. I'm considering moving him elsewhere. I know I put so much thought into something so minuscule. Okay, so this is kind of more of a tip, but just so you guys know, if you want to have a gorgeous city, you have to take a loss sometimes. Sometimes it means that you might lose out on something that's more beneficial for looks, right? And that's why my building guide, I tell you guys to get everything unlocked, everything done, and that way when it comes time to design your city, which is my favorite part of playing the game, that you are able to do so without having to struggle and suffer and try to unlock storage and do your epics and this and that, right? So that you can just focus on designing your city. That's why I tell you guys to save your keys. So my question is, this is also another display that I have here. I have this ice casino, which doesn't fit in at all. I'm thinking when I unlock Limestone Cliff, there is like a T, it's not in gambling can't remember which category it's in. Entertainment, probably. I'm going to find it to show you guys. Yeah, Tea House. That one looks kind of cool. I can't tell really what it looks like. Um, but I was thinking about putting it right, right there. Now, that gnome that's there, the gnome park, he used to sit down here, right there where that empty space is. I'm trying to figure out what to put in his space so that it doesn't block this display that I have going on here. And I don't really like this Omega University. So I'm thinking about redoing this entire display here. Should I keep each one of these castles side by side with the Eiffel Tower? Or should I swap out the Eiffel Tower and put that castle as my centerpiece? Or should I put in a red Tokyo Tower? I don't know. These are all questions, more a matter of preference, I suppose. But what should I do with this top corner? Because this top corner is just making the rest of my city look like shit. I just imagine that if I added in this river here, this area here, that this would be like an island off, and I would have all these islands, and then I would put more bridges in. That I think that these suspension bridges look better at a horizontal view than a vertical view. That's just my opinion. I also want your opinion on this plumbob bridge here. Does it not fit? It looks to me like it doesn't fit the rest of my theme. It almost appears that I should go with either another suspension bridge or a cobblestone bridge. That way it matches the rest of my city. And in that case, I could put these plumbob bridges this way and have it light up or I could put them eh, 
I don't know, maybe even do cobblestone there. I don't know. Plumb Bob Bridge is one of my favorites. It just doesn't seem to be fitting with the theme here. It just looks tacky to me. Let me know what you guys think on that. Now, there's a few other questions that I had for you guys, and that is what aspect of the game has been mo most difficult? What video so far have you found most helpful? If you could have me re-explain one topic or explain one topic, which topic would you choose? Have you restarted your city? And if you have, what are your thoughts on restarting it? And the last question, hardest slash most confusing part of the game for you so far. That being said, I'm going to end this video. If you haven't already, hit that like and subscribe button. I'm going to get this one uploaded. And then we're going to talk about the designing your city. Because that really, honestly should be like the main reason you play a building game is to design your city and i see that a lot of people actually don't play it for that aspect but if you are somebody who would like to have a cool looking city and you just don't know where to get started or you have trouble making it look nice and you need you need tips or you need ideas then that would be basically the video for you